Hello and welcome to the Philippines. A few months ago I did a video and I asked the question, who are you? I wanted to get to know my viewers and subscribers a little bit and I really appreciated all the interesting responses I got from that and I thought it was about time to let you know a little bit about myself. Who am I and why does that matter to you? I thought this would be a good time to do it because I've reached a bit of a milestone, depending upon which figure you believe, either 9,999 or 10,010 subscribers uh, that are both listed uh, on the YouTube channel. This continues to be an amazing journey. Number one, being in the Philippines, halfway around the world from where I lived prior to this in the USA. And secondly, the journey that I have here with the uh, YouTube channel and all the viewers and subscribers. First of all, a little bit about why I started this channel and a little bit about myself. Uh, when I was planning my trip to Asia in 2015, 2014 actually, uh, I was looking at uh, YouTube videos and purchasing books, uh, doing research on a number of different countries and uh, became interested in the in the Philippines after I ruled out uh, Thailand for a number of reasons. Uh, there were three of uh, YouTube channels here that I was aware of at the time, bloggers, and uh, they put out quite a bit of information and I uh, really gave me a comfort level for uh, coming to the Philippines and dealing with the people in the Philippines, the fact that they spoke English. Uh, but I did see a need uh, for, there was a lot of information that I had a hard time finding, and I thought that uh, I might be able to provide some of that information. And uh, just based on the comments that I often get, I uh, believe that I am providing some of that information about, about renting, buying, uh, life costs of living here in the Philippines, and just daily life and the culture here in the Philippines. Um, also interested to know, uh, I've got a long list of topics to cover in the future, but I am interested if there's any particular things that uh, you would like me to cover. I may or may not be able to do that, uh, but uh, I am interested in your input there. Uh, as, as far as my background, um, I've al always been interested in photography and uh, doing videos, that type of thing. Um, so uh, I, I always carry a camera or two with me. So it became a little bit of a natural for me to start doing video and set up a YouTube channel and try to offer some insight. Uh, now a little bit more about myself. I grew up on a farm in Minnesota, Minnecola, some call it, where the mosquitoes are bigger than <laughs> many of the birds and didn't care much for the cold. Uh, I did go to college up there, got a teaching degree in history, geography, what many call the social sciences, social studies. I uh, never did teach. I uh, used that degree to get me into uh, a supervisory foreman and management positions in a number of companies over the years in Minnesota as well as uh, Nevada, uh, California, and Arizona, where I spent a good part of my time. My interests uh, basically is why I'm here today. Uh, history, geography, Asia, photography, videography, and cultures. That's the reason I'm here in the Philippines and in Southeast Asia today doing what I'm doing and, and teaching, trying to offer some, uh, some useful information along the way as I come across it. Uh, one other, I could go on for hours uh, talking, but I'm not going to do that. I will tell you that uh, just a little more about myself is I don't like labels. Uh, labels put you in a box. You know, people like to label themselves uh, re religiously or uh, politically. And, you know, there's all kinds of surveys and tests you can take, and they try to put you in a box. You're this type of personality or this type of personality. And the, the problem with with labeling, labeling yourself is that you're you're in a box. Somebody tells me they're they're a particular type of person. I put them in that box in my mind, consciously or subconsciously. And uh, I consider myself a critical thinker, an independent thinker. And I, I look at problems. And I try to solve them when I when I can. 
um, I'm tolerant except uh, for t intolerant people. <laughs> kind of hard to put up with intolerant people. Um, but I, you know, people ask me, well, you know, what religion are you? And uh, Christ, if I say Christian, they'll they'll say, well, what well, what denomination? And I say, you know, it, it doesn't matter what denomination because you're trying to narrow, you're trying to put me in a smaller and smaller and smaller box uh, by doing that, and uh, politically as well. Uh, a lot of people will label themselves uh, one type of political party or or view. And yet, if you give them tests with lots of questions uh, and survey their real thoughts, what they think about things, they don't neatly fit into that box. Uh, so anyway, going forward here, I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, information about my channel, how to use it. Uh, many of you know already, I've got, uh, I've got many topics that I cover. And I also have playlists. I'm going to uh, go to the channel now and we're going to talk a little bit about playlists. And I'm going to be expanding on that also in the future. All right. And while I was talking, look what happened. 10,000 subscribers. And, well, that is quite a milestone. I remember thinking when I had 450 subscribers uh, a couple of years ago, is this something I really want to be doing? It takes a lot of time and effort but I do enjoy it and plan on continuing. Uh, although subscribers are important, more important than that is the views that your, each, each and every one of your video gets, how long people watch your video, whether they watch any of the advertising, whether they click on any of the advertising, all those kind of things is how you monetize your channel. All right, I'm over here on the YouTube channel, and what I did, I, I uh, logged off of my... YouTube channel, so I should be seeing the same thing that, uh, much the same thing that you see, and I typed in Amazing Philippines here, and uh, I, am, I am amazed that my channel is the first one that pops up when you type in Amazing Philippines uh, on YouTube, and uh, I've also noticed that as you do, uh, do searches for various hotels, resorts, condominiums in the Cebu City area in particular, that oftentimes I am listed in the top 10, one of my videos in the top 10 of the, the Google searches or other search engines. And many times I'm the number one uh, video that comes up in those searches. So I am, uh, I am amazed at what has happened through this journey that I have. Uh, anyway, uh, you've got Home, which will list uh, many, many videos for Amazing Philippines. Uh, you've got videos there again, which is just a pretty much a chronological order of, of videos. But more importantly, for many of you, I think, and I always, almost always, at the end of my videos, I, I put links to various playlists uh, that might be uh, pertain to the type of video that you just finished watching. And I have several categories, and I will be clean doing two things. I'll be cleaning up those categories and adding a couple of categories in the new, near future because there, some topics don't fit neatly under these topics. Uh, so I will be adding some. I have duplicated uh, in some cases. Uh, I, I put, for instance, a video about a condo. I've also moved that information over to cost of living as well. And uh, I'll clean that up where I don't have a lot of duplicates. Uh, anyway, I have, I have uh, categories. Uh, condos, hotels, and housing. And you can view the full playlist or you can just hit the play all button and you, you can sit there for many, many hours, a few days, possibly listening to 127 videos. Uh, beaches, resorts, and sites. Um, 79 videos in there. People, culture, and organizations. Uh, that, that really varies greatly from me walking down and uh, down streets and uh, different cultural events, organizations, perhaps uh, immigration information. Uh, I will probably add a category having to do with, with immigration, government, something like that. Uh, and then I've done a lot of cost of living uh, type videos. I've done a video for the first month I was here, the second month I was here, 
and uh, for several months after that I've done some videos of four month averages cost of living shopping so I've got some some videos of various uh, shopping malls some of the uh, costs involved in shopping uh, health and medical I have uh, been to the dentist a couple of times I have friends who've been to the dentist and I had information from them uh, I've seen a number of doctors. I've been to a couple of different hospitals, so there's some information on there. I've I've done some comparisons of of costs uh, in some instances. Travel, safety, and transportation uh, can be how do you get from here to there? Some of the costs involved, some of the modes of transportation. Uh, sometimes I just get on a hobble hobble, a motorbike, taxi, and turn on my camera, and and uh, that's what you're going to see there. Food and entertainment, uh, different restaurants, bars, uh, 80 listed under there, recreation and events. There again, uh, quite a few different things. Reviews, I've done a couple of camera reviews. It says I have 24 videos there. And uh, anyway, I'm going to clean those up a little bit and add a couple of categories in the very near future. Uh, but playlists will help you a lot. I have people come in and, and say, well, will you do a video about such and such condominium or such and such a hotel? Well, I've done one or two uh, in, in the past, and then I will send a link to that. But if you go to that playlist and then do a search under that playlist, you should be able to pull up that, that particular condominium or hotel if I've done a video about it. I started this apparently in January 2016, so it's been over two years. And this is back over to the home area. And what I suggest for you who have not subscribed, or even those who have subscribed, when you subscribe, there should be a little bell over here that you want notifications. But because I'm not logged on at the present time, uh, when I hit subscribe, I have to log on. I need to sign on first, and then you can subscribe. And then you can hit that little bell that sits over here. And you can be notified of all or occasional videos that go up. I try to put up uh, I try to put up about three videos a week on average. I do have a friend Catabatic lives up near Manila area, up in the mountains up there, and uh, he's taken some of my hobble hobble rides and turned them into couple of videos uh, to the theme of James Bond and uh, <laughs> I got a couple screen grabs off those videos anyway he does a lot of has done a lot of music videos you might want to check out his channel I want to thank all my viewers and subscribers for sticking with me over the last two years and uh, hopefully the coming year I can continue to improve the output and uh, Continue to put out some educational information, a uh, little entertainment. Uh, I throw a little of my dry humor in there occasionally. And uh, I hate to admit, uh, I was probably one of the fastest people in the first 10 yards. But after that, I started falling off really fast. I continue to enjoy the Philippines and the friendly English-speaking people here on a daily basis. Uh, there are challenges like there are challenges anywhere. But anyway, I uh, thank you for watching. Please like the video. Please share the video. Please subscribe. Safe travels to you all wherever you're at. And we'll see you next time.